Hi everyone, um, I'm feeling very cozy. As you can see, I have a safari going and uh, my faithful hound is napping in my lap. Yeah, yeah, you go back to my lap. And I just watched an anime that I kind of liked, so I thought why not talk about it in a vlog. It is called The Faraway Paladin. And um, the reason why I kind of got interested in it, uh, it's only one episode out so far, but essentially from the onset, the description reminded me a lot of the Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Uh, the Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman is a story, essentially a retelling of a jungle book instead of in a graveyard. A boy is raised by the undead, a vampire, some ghost spirits, uh, and so forth. And this is a similar premise where a young boy wakes up as a baby, well, he's transported from a another world because you can't really uh, escape that premise I suppose in today's anime but I digress he wakes up in a temple of some sorts and he is raised by a skeleton a mummy and this is a mummy uh, and she doesn't look like a mummy <laughs> and a ghost a skeleton uh, teaches the boy how to be a swordsman a fighter um the 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 spirit the ghost teaches him sorcery and uh, the mummy again does not look like a mummy <laughs> teaches him um worldly stuff like how to raise food and and manners and 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 and, and, and things of that nature and um i like it so far it's very gentle, it's a very slice of life feel for it. I suppose it is technically what is known as an isekai subgenre, which is essentially portal fantasy, if you're familiar with that term. Uh, in, um, in fantasy fiction, portal fantasy is where a hero from our world is essentially transported to another fantastical world and they remain there and live there. And isekai is this genre of literature and anime that does a similar thing where um, a person who leads an unhappy life in real world dies or is accidentally transported or reincarnated after dying to another fantastical world. So this is the case here. The guy wakes up as a baby with previous memories from the other life, but grows up retaining those memories, but becoming a different person, essentially. So yeah, um, have you seen it? What do you think? Uh, it's been a while since I've done any type of blog, but I figured I might do them more often now. Because I have the weirdest taste when it comes to anime, movies, uh, TV shows. So I might just do short vlogs and share my thoughts about things I just saw. How about that? So um, see you next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.